الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم اللهم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم. السلام عليكم ورحمه الله. Now I will be quoting a hadith. I think if not all of you, at least 90% of you, you know this hadith. And you know the topic of this hadith. The focus point that I want from this hadith will come by the end of this hadith. Okay? Now a hadith which is related to the concept of uh, at tawbah The very famous hadith, in Arabic we call it hadith uqatil al tis'a tis'in nafs. The one uh, the hadith which is related to at tawbah about the one who killed 99 persons. But now I need something, at some kind of additional value that will come at the end of this hadith. The hadith in a brief, Prophet says, لقد كان في من كان قبلكم رجلا قتل تسعة وتسعين نفسا. Someone, Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, the that from the previous nations, from Muslims, believers, following of one of the prophets, he was, there was a criminal who killed 99 person. He's a professional killer. He wanted to repent. أراد التوبة. قال فدل على عابد. He was guided to go to a worshipper. Not necessarily has any kind of knowledge. Maybe he's very ignorant, but he is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But unfortunately on the base of ignorance. So he went there. Okay, I killed 99. Is there any way for me to repent? The reply was, no. So he became very angry. He killed him. So he killed one. Hundred. <laughs> now Prophet Muhammad is telling the Sahaba. Then he decided to repent again after finishing the one hundred. قال فدل على عالم scholar who knows the knowledge of Allah through the Prophet of that time. Because by the way, just a small pause. All believers in the Prophets from Adam to Muhammad who were following their prophets and messengers in their time, we call them believers and Muslims. For us, they are believers and Muslims, literally Muslims. Ibrahim alayhi salam, he said, وَجَعَلْنَا مُسْلِمَيْنِ لَكْ Yusuf alayhi salam and Ibrahim alayhi salam وَأَلَا أَوَّلْ الْمُسْلِمِينَ So all of them, by default, they are Muslims. So, now, a alim who was in his time a Muslim and a believer, who knows the knowledge, he received this killer. He came to him now. Is there any way for me to repent? Definitely, yes. But, here come our point. He said, definitely you can repent. And your repentance بإذن الله will be acceptable. But I must guide you where you can practice repentance and to make sure to guarantee not to go back again easily to the environment of you because you are living in a very bad place, very bad surroundings. You know the peer pressure, the colleagues, the friends, the, all the time they are pushing. So he advised him. Here comes my point. He said, فَذْهَبْ إِلَى الْمَكَانِ فُلَانِي فَإِنَّ فِيهَا قَوْمًا Go to such and such place where there's righteous, pious, good people. Live with them. They will help you to repent practically. In his way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by his wisdom, he took his soul and he died. The angels of death and the angels of mercy, they say. Uh, as our brother, Egyptian brothers, they say, Dabtana. Dabtana. <laughs> 100. <laughs> you know, he's a killer by profession. Dabtana. <laughs> According to the records, he is. Dabtana. Malaikatul Rahma. They say, but he came to us as a repentant. No, he's a killer repentant. By the way, Allah can't finish everything without all the had story. But Allah wants this to happen so that, you know, that can be told like a story to make it easy for us. So, Allah sent a third angel to be like a judge between them. Try to measure the, to, to where he was closer. He was closer to the area where he was intending to live as a repentant. 
then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted from him. And in another riwayah, قال فطوى الله الأرض. Allah made the, the, you know, the earth itself become closer. It's easy for Allah and he can be acceptable by the moment that he decided to repent. The point is, now this hadith is very famous for tawbah, which means it's a glad tidings, good news, amazingly. Don't ever lose hope uh, when you repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the good news that most of you or all of you do know. The point that I want just to highlight in my talk today, in the, uh, the coming two minutes, I want to go to the advice of the alim. He said, he was talking about the pressure and the colleagues of my, you know, in our uh, slang language, I mean, in, in Jordan, Palestine, we say Shille. You know Shille? Ah? Uh, buddies? You say? Ah? Uh, the gang, the Shille, the buddies, the peer pressure, the friends, close friends. The close friends, by the way, according to my readings and my experience for the last 34 years of making da'wah, and the top reasons of making someone to go astray outside Islam or to come to Islam was the close friends. Number one. Number one, more than anything else. The first cigarette that I smoke, friend. The first porno movie I saw, friend. The first bad thing I said, a friend. I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about the... <laughs> No, no, I'm giving as if I'm talking on behalf of someone, okay? Some people, they started looking at me, you did it? <laughs> no, no, no. I know I did not touch a smoke ever in my life, even before practicing Islam, alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what other things, but, <laughs> okay? But, wherever you go, the first bad thing someone has done, you just dig and search, you will find, in 70% of the cases, close friend, not a bad friend, close, nice, good friend. Hey, try it, the weed, okay? Drugs, cigarettes, bad things, movies, pictures, go with the girls, friend, 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 friend. Friends, most of the time, they take you either or, so sometimes, if you want to repent, it's not a philosophical, theoretical thing. Please, let's go and reflect upon who are the very close friends in your inner circle because they have the best and most powerful influence in you. If you want to repent, let's say, let's say, God forbid that you are drinking alcohol. It's a sin, it's haram, you have to leave it. Now, one of the biggest reasons that will push you back, friends. <laughs> Just when you say, I want to stop drinking to socialist Mecca, yes, 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 Sometimes they say, actually, I want to go to the toilet. He goes and pray behind whatever, and he comes. Why? So, now, the most important thing. Look, by the way, this is applicable on you as an individual, applicable on you as families. Sometimes you, for example, as a family, who are the most closest families to your family? It's not just you, because you know, most of us, let's admit, married people. Your wives have big, power on you. Can you deny? No. Okay. You can't. Now, who are the close families, including the wives of these families, to your wife, with whom all the time she is talking? The, you know, the Minister of Interior. She has an amazing influence on you. So basically, when you want to, to, to design or to re, you know, put, put a schedule for us as a family, close Families sometimes they might be destroying us. You, and for individuals, sometimes we look for kids, for our kids. Hey, don't go with this, come with this. But what about I myself as a family? What are the families that are um, close friends to? They're taking me to where? When we sit together, what do we chat? What do we say? What is the influence on my kids when this family comes to this family? If you want really to repent, we need to review this out of understanding the hadith of التوبة. أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يرزقنا حسن الفهم والإخلاص. جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.